trying to change say that a new Nigeria is possible yes, sir. and all of us and that is why it's important that I tell I'm here to do this. We want to be able to say, how do we get this place to work? It is all of you that can make it work. We have no other country except this one. Collectively, all of us will build it. But there's a lot of sacrifice. It's not going to be overnight. But people live in the country when they spoke. If people can see that we're doing the right thing, they will reduce it. And that's what we are preaching. This year's election, I'm pleading with all of you, should not be on sentiment of tribe. Not tribe buys bread cheaper. Not tribe. Not tribe has unintended electricity. So do not vote anybody because it's a tribe. And let nobody come and tell you, oh, you're going to waste your vote. Yes. Yes. And let nobody tell you that, oh, it is too real that you people are going to get there. No. We're not looking for any transit. We're in competition. Yes. So let nobody give you those excuses. It's not about trust. I've told the people in the north. You've been in power since. The poorest place in the north. It's not going to be about religion. No religion buys bread cheaper. If you go to any church today, they say this is a mosque or this is a church. But they sell bread cheaper. I can tell you, if it's a mosque, Christians will go there and buy the bread and come out. If it's a Christian, Muslims will come there and buy the bread and go. Everybody is suffering. Let nobody tell you it is his turn. It is turn of Nigerians to take back their country. Yeah. It's nobody's turn. If you are going to be my turn, I'm one of those who claim it's my turn. But it's not a country. I'm not running as my turn. I'm an evil man. But I'm very proud. I'm a Nigerian. I'm a Nigerian and I'm a very proud Nigerian. And I'm running as a proud Nigerian who is qualified to be president. So, what we need to do is this year's election will be on character we can trust. So, if the president says, I will fight corruption. I wonder if the person says, we want characters we can trust. So if somebody says, I want to be president of Nigeria, I'm going to fight corruption. Like I'm start. You see the American do debate and everything. Somebody gets up and says, I am Barack Obama. I was born like this. Here, people are running an election. Nobody knows their name. Nobody knows their age. Nobody knows the school they attend. Nobody knows, you know, everything. There's a lot of anywhere in the world. If I have to go say, this is who I am. My name is Peter Obi. I can say, I went to Christ in King College. Yes. Went to University of Nigeria. Yes. I'm not going to lie. Both the VC today, the DVCs today, me and them came the same year and left the same year. So I can say these are my schoolmates. The people I went to school, I can see them here. Those who were my senior, he was my senior in university. He made me in university. So they all over the place. How come we now have people that have no classmates? This is very important. Because it all begins with, it all begins with character. And people we can trust. We need to know. There's nothing wrong. I've got a 
mama told me he never had the opportunity of going to a foreign school. There's nothing wrong with that. There's so many people who have done well in life and never went to a foreign school. But we want to know your identity. It is important. So, that's where we start. If you say you're going to fight corruption, let's go to where you pass and know what was remaining there. Where you left. You're welcome, sir. Okay. Our incoming.
we make the Nigeria system. We want to revolutionize production. Our bank government does not do anything. We want to revolutionize production. All other countries are producing something. We are exporting. Nigeria is a country of over 200 million people. And we live on 923,000 square kilometers of land. Our total export in 2021 is 18.9 trillion If you divide it by 615 naira, it will give you below 30 billion dollars.
Yeah. <laughs> 